As one of the world's earliest major female superheroes, the Amazon princess of Themyscira has faced her share of baddies during her 80-year-long career as a crime fighter. But who are some of the biggest and baddest of Wonder Woman's foes? When you think of iconic superhero rogues galleries, your mind probably wanders to the foes of heroes such as Spider-Man, Batman, or even The Flash, whose selections of opponents are widely considered among the greatest in all of comic book history. Wonder Woman, aka Diana Prince's villains, may not enjoy quite that level of notoriety, but she isn't exactly considered one of DC Comics' big three for nothing. From Greek gods to demented dames, we here at Screen Rant are going to go over some of the most wicked and wily of Wonder Woman's enemies. And no, we're not going to bring up Maxwell Lord. Getting your neck snapped one time in the comics doesn't make you a full-time Wonder Woman villain, guys. But hey, maybe the upcoming movie will change that. Until we know for sure, let's focus our attention on the following batch of baddies. Sometimes a name in a suit is just too cool to give up on, even when the guys wearing it just keep getting knocked down. And that's why Red Panzer, originally a German scientist by the name of Helmuth Streicher, keeps showing back up in the comics in one form or another. Rocking a red uniform with a snazzy helmet and a, uh, let's say less than ideal forehead insignia. So far, a grand total of four different people have worn the deadly set of armor and used the enhanced strength and near invincibility it grants in order to butt heads with Wonder Woman and associated characters such as Donna Troy, including one that wasn't even a member of that evil German organization that we're not going to name here, but just wore it under orders from major DC Comics baddie, the immortal caveman Vandal Savage. What can I say? Red never truly goes out of style in villainy. Another identity that gets passed around an awful lot would be Dr. Poison. The first Dr. Poison was Princess Maru, an agent of Imperial Japan who disguised herself as a grotesque looking man in order to concoct awful experiments with poisons and diseases in an attempt to destroy America during World War II, which naturally brought her into conflict with Wonder Woman. Decades later, her villainy inspired her granddaughter to take up her name and modus operandi. Though this version wasn't bogged down by things like fighting for another army's cause, she was simply an absolute sadist and would gladly have killed everyone on Earth if it meant she got to play around with more poisons. And both the New 52 and DC Rebirth storylines have reimagined the character since, both as a Russian terrorist and as a leader of a pack of mercenaries called Poison. Even the 2017 movie got in on the fun and reimagined the not-so-good doctor as a disfigured Spanish chemist, who assists the German army in World War I under influence from the god of war, Ares. Still, no matter the changes she goes through, Dr. Poison is always a particularly nasty thorn in Wonder Woman's side. Remember when I said we were gonna check out some of Wonder Woman's biggest and baddest enemies? This is where the biggest part comes in. While Giganta has been around since the golden age of comic books and is one of the most prolific outside of the page, she has changed drastically from her first appearance, where she was a large, aggressive gorilla who got turned into a human by a scientist named Dr. Zool. Nowadays, she's Doris Zool, a dying scientist who attempted to put her mind in Wonder Woman's body and instead ended up in that of a circus strong woman who somehow just so happened to have magical size shifting powers. Because comic books are just wild like that, okay? Being potentially the size of tall buildings might just make her one of the biggest baddies in Wonder Woman's rogues gallery, but she's not necessarily one of the baddest considering that she often mainly plays the role of mercenary muscle. She even used to date a superhero, more specifically Ryan Choi, the second Adam, despite the two of them knowing about each other's identities. Considering that one grows and the other one shrinks, do you think they ever double date with Giant Man and the Wasp? Man, these supervillain identities seem to just get handed down more than that ugly sweater your older cousin used to wear. But that's not to say the various women who have taken the name of the Silver Swan aren't dangerous. With an affinity for sonic attacks and suits of armor that make them deadly aerial combatants, these women have gotten into many scuffles with Wonder Woman in an attempt to get revenge for the various atrocities and indignities they suffered in their civilian identities. Fittingly, giving them all a bit of a ugly duckling theme to go with their beautiful shiny swan outfits. Whether the current Silver Swan is a disgraced ballerina trying to take revenge on the world for mocking her normally plain appearance, with a little help from Ares of course, or a physically deformed woman undergoing experimental procedures, or an abused former fangirl and sidekick who gets brainwashed into supervillainy, she's always sure to give our star-spangled heroine a hell of a fight. We humans can be petty, jealous jerks that want nothing more than to tear down someone who can do things that we cannot. This is best exemplified by one of comic book history's greatest villains, 
Lex Luthor, whose female counterpart, the self-made perfume magnet and wannabe mad scientist Veronica Kale, loves nothing more than to make Diana's life as miserable as possible. This largely stems from seeing Wonder Woman as an inferior role model for women compared to herself, citing the fact that she dug her own way to success from poor origins rather than outright being born as a superpowered princess. Her methods of ruining the Amazon heroine's life range from outright murder and financing the endeavors of other supervillains to simply starting smear campaigns by spinning various Wonder Woman quotes wildly out of context just to make the public loathe her. You can all feel free to insert your own lines about hell having no fury like a woman scorned here. You can't start your superhero career in the 40s without butting heads with the occasional German. Seriously, it just can't be done. Baroness Paula von Gunther, a brilliant scientist who worked as a mission control and tech provider for many Third Reich agents during World War II, actually has the honor of being Wonder Woman's first genuine recurring nemesis, and one of the few Wonder Woman foes to be featured in a well-known 1970s TV series. However, surprisingly for a German-affiliated character in the 40s, she wasn't actually evil. She was simply working for them due to them threatening the life of her daughter, Gerda. Once this came to light and Gerda was rescued, Paula joined the Allies and was even given the status of Honorary Amazon. That is, until comic book continuity reimagined her as a genuine occultist, who once even served as the host body for an evil entity called the Dark Angel, after which she defected again. Good for you, Paula. What's the quickest way to come up with a villain? Make them everything the hero isn't. Edgar Sisko, better known under the less than reassuring name Dr. Psycho, is a grotesque looking little person with mind control powers that are almost as vast as his laundry list of awful, vile, disgusting character traits. Not only is he a terrible sadist who gets physically excited by his own villainy, he's also a raging misogynist and even a little bit of a cannibal, as evidenced by the time he simply asked for seconds when told he just ate a lump of DC villain Solomon Grundy's flesh. And just to give him a few extra creepy points, his misogyny doesn't keep him from carrying a torch for our Amazonian heroine, performing many of his villainous acts just to get her attention. For a frame of reference, imagine a shorter, uglier, and much more obvious gross version of Marvel's Purple Man, and you'll be on the right track. Regardless of how much abuse, rejection, and ridicule for his appearance he may have suffered in his backstory, this gruesome goblin of a man has probably committed more atrocities in his long supervillain career than there are stars on all of Wonder Woman's costumes combined. While Wonder Woman's origin story has varied wildly throughout the years, she has nonetheless always drawn influence from Greek mythology, and that is exactly where comic book writers found their inspiration for Circe, who has arguably become one of the top contenders for the title of Wonder Woman's true archenemy after she was introduced in the comics in the 80s. Originating in the Odyssey, Cersei was a seductive sorceress who lived on her own island and magically turned the men who arrived on her island into pigs. As a Wonder Woman villain though, she takes this further into becoming a powerful, magical misandrist seeking to create a further divide between not just men and women, but all people on Earth directly opposing Diana's ultimate goal of peace and unity. And just to prove how dangerous she is, she actually did manage to kill Wonder Woman once, until she came back. Because these are comic books and that's just a thing that happens. Either way, Cersei the Sorceress is one of Wonder Woman's most prominent villains, and she is very likely to continue menacing our favorite Amazon for many, many more stories to come. Greek mythology also gives us another of Wonder Woman's strongest and deadliest adversaries, the God of War himself. No, not that one. I'm talking about Ares, one of the many sons of Zeus, the king of the gods. The Ares who firmly believes that all of mankind's best and worst are only shown through war, and who does everything in his considerable power to keep humans constantly in conflict in order to satiate his own lust for violence and destruction. No doubt due to his incredible power and the scale of the threat that he poses, Ares has had the honor of playing the main antagonist in not just the live action Wonder Woman film from 2017, but also an animated movie from 2009. He may not have had as many media appearances as our next contender, but you can always be sure that when this armored antagonist enters the scene, the conflict reaches an entirely different scale. And if you need any more proof that this guy is bad news, just remember that he's already been mentioned twice on the list before he even got his own entry. I say Batman, you say Joker. I say Superman, you say Lex Luthor. I say Wonder Woman, you say Cheetah. While there has been a few different characters who took up the moniker of Cheetah, one of them even a man, it doesn't change the fact that this particular feline fiend is most definitely Wonder Woman's most persistent and iconic foe. 
The legend of the cheetah started with the wealthy socialite Priscilla Rich, who tried to sabotage Wonder Woman and ruin her life due to petty jealousy back in the golden age of comic books. But it's the second cheetah, Barbara Minerva, who consistently shows up to menace the Amazon princess to this day, and who we'll be seeing in the upcoming Wonder Woman 1984, played by Kristen Wiig. Starting out as an amoral archaeologist, Barbara stumbled upon an ancient magical ritual, and was given the ability to turn into an incredibly powerful cheetah woman, as an avatar of the evil god Ertz Cartaga, sure let's go with that, their will. Unfortunately for her, this came at the price of being in constant, excruciating pain whenever she isn't in her more powerful form. Her feud with Wonder Woman started with her attempting to steal her magical lasso of truth for a collection of mystical artifacts, and since then it has only escalated and gotten more personal, eventually landing her a spot as one of Wonder Woman's most iconic, not to mention most deadly, archenemies. It'll certainly be interesting to see if her first live-action movie appearance will make audiences her. So who else beside me is holding their breath waiting for the live action appearances of Wonder Woman's true nemesis, the Blue Snowman? No? What about Angle Man? Egg Fu? Minister Blizzard? Come on, who's with me here? What, nobody? Ah, read a comic book, you Philistines. <laughs>